Hi everybody, it's your friend Syndicated. Look at this can of Cleopatra. I bought it last night. I got it at Home Depot. They're not sponsoring me. It was $17.98, but guess what? That little mark there, that yellow spray, means it's half price. Yay! So I got it for about $9 and something plus tax. Look, Canna Cleopatra attracts butterflies. So that's a plus plus plus. And it's very colorful. So I said, wow, it looks like I can get... Looks like I can get a few plants out of here, so I tried to get the one that had the most stems in it, and I brought it home. So here I try to empty it out of the pot. Oh, this is my trusty knife and my um, alcohol spray to sterilize the knife with. So I spray it on there, because I thought I was going to have to do some cutting, but I actually did minimal cutting, because they just kind of separated quite easily on their own, just break them apart. Okay, so you loosen this um, canister to make it easier for the plant to come out. So tug a little bit on it and look, it kind of just kind of slid out pretty much. Don't look at my foot. Oh, embarrassing. Okay, so here's a little speed uh, video of how I got it out of there. And you see it's got a lot of rootage. Lots. Chock full of nuts, it's pretty much root bound. So I didn't show you all of the part where I was cleaning it up, but I tried to clean it up. <laughs> but I I was using one hand because the um that thing that holds it, the gimp, it wasn't working properly. Okay, so here I am one handedly filming and um trying to get the dirt off of it. Wow, look at the roots look quite healthy. It's so amazing. I like this plant because it's got like a, it's green, it has green foliage and it has a really nice purple stripe. Okay, so here I'm, I got it a little bit loose by this time. I use both hands now and I'm just showing you how I gently remove the soil. Um, there's another way you can do this. The reason I'm doing it like this is because I don't, I want to keep the soil, but anyways, you can just rinse with water and it's a lot easier. So look, this is a pre pretty much what happened after I cleaned it up. This is how it looks. You can see there's quite a few and there's little, um, things coming up. Wow, at Home Depot also, I got these free, um, buckets, planters. They had I guess they were doing something, they left them and said, can I have them? Yes, okay, so I took them home. Here is all the, here is all the uh, pieces now separated. And look at how pretty they are, one, two, three, there's a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, is that ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think eight, I think it's nine or ten. Anyways, I think it was nine, actually. So yeah, here's my pots. Look at this. Some of the pots, <laughs> I got them at Home Depot. They say Lowe's. Like, it's weird. It seems like Home Depot takes, um, they make their own arrangements there, I believe, because it um, looks like they took these pots, made an arrangement, because I recognize the names of some of the plants, and they're in the arrangements they have there. Look at my finger in the way, sorry. So I'm showing you now. I got them all potted up. I put some potting soil, sand, and then, of course, on top, the gravel. And look at how pretty the stripes. I'm really happy. Look at how many plants I got out of that one plant, which cost me like nine dollars. And I'm get, and the reason I'm doing this is because I want to have a whole wall of these canna lilies. They're so pretty and tropical, and they give excellent bright, bright flowers. And they love um, heat and stuff. They like to keep moist, but not. Uh, they don't like their uh, roots to be too waterlogged, so be careful. They need good drainage. Look at how many. Oh, beautiful patterns. So I wish I had known a long time ago that I, I could um, propagate them this way. It's so easy. I would have been doing it a long time ago. So, yeah, here it is, the, the potting soil, sand. Need to buy some more, and the gravel, the stones. 
So look, now I put them all next to the fence. One, two, three, four. The fifth one, that's the one I propagated before. It's a different kind. That's okay, six, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten is way there behind the agave. Alright, thank you for watching. I hope you like this and try it at home. Bye. Arigato.